Part of my training in science studies was that I wanted to expand my own training as a filmmaker. And what I mean by that is I was working on in studying histories of medicine, but at the same time I was also working with clinics, uh, integrative clinics in Boston and New York, and with physicians in Sao Paulo and Mumbai to understand how they understood tradition and modernity. One of the biggest questions in any form of medical practice that has this kind of long classical tradition, like in parts of East Asia, in Korea, in Vietnam, in parts of India and South Asia, a lot of young nations are trying to develop narratives of modernity through biomedicine, and yet they also have this challenge of defining what tradition means for different ethnic groups. So I was working with clinics to see how they managed this strange paradox of being both medieval and modern, and understood how they interpreted integrative medicine in their own practice. So film is really, I think, essential to trying to create new aesthetics for these groups that aren't like a sitar that's like playing as you see Indian medicine. Um, and, and, and I find those narratives really constraining. So for filmmaking, um, I'm bringing that into the classroom as well so that students don't have to be professional filmmakers, but they think about representation. So they think about representation when they make podcasts or if they decide to make a short um, film if they want to. But right now I'm sticking to podcasts so they can think about sound as a way to tell stories. They can think about music as an active actor and an active player in how they represent uh, any kind of narrative that's unfamiliar to their listeners.